Yeah, towards the rear it would be like that. All right, 17 well, actually towards the rear. Yeah. Anyway, let's go. Four lights, five lights. And there they go. Acti getting a good start yet again. But we have Jacob got passion. The Ooh. driver's got away well. There's no incident, major incident. And as I say that, commentator curse. And that's uh, Eagle in the wall. Uh, and a uh, car stuck. Either it's retired because of terminal damage, I am unsure. There is a, a yellow flag, sector one and two, and that is stuck. Plays the cars there, and that's a, a safety car again, but this time around. Fingers crossed. First lap incident yet again. So 11 cars it's running. About 7%, 8% the on the rear. The reason I wanted to take the punishment around here, believe it or not, not the front so much that you see on other tracks, because it is obviously a street circuit, so. You get the power down in those 90 degree corners and it lights up the rears. Let's see, he's still warming up and there goes Acti and it looks like uh, Bradley has lost out. He's side by side with Alfa Romeo. The Alfa Romeo is obviously an Alfa Tauri actually of Fibo uh, going uh, around the inside of Danza. Danza trying to cover it off. Fibo actually a bit of slipstream. So uh, the Alfa Tauri doesn't... Uh, no, he gave uh, EDU a bit of slipstream, so uh, FD will uh, would drop places, which, uh, well, they're fighting hard right now. He's uh, the one who got the upper hand of that battle, and Acti still leading pack 7 10 separating him and the Red Bull. Oh, Bell. pumping and grinding, and there it is right there. That's Nick and Flevo. Nowhere to go. Cars punched up, slapping the to break a little bit later, otherwise he's going to be in the fence. He did tap the fence a little bit. He's got pressure from both of the McLarens behind him. Last leg breakers are eagles. Got to be very careful. Casper can come back at this one right oh, now. Both the McLarens going too much on that loud paddle coming out of the corner, and Casper still maintain that position. Flavos in the pits with that damage. Just stay within that DRS. It's a long race, remember, 6 to 26. Probably saving up some battery even. Comfortable just to sit there at the moment. Getting a nice helicopter shot. We might get our overtake here. Bradley just four tenths behind Acti and DRS will be enabled it's around EDU's now. going around. Sorry, yeah, keep that one. EDU's out of the session, so we, we lost another victim. And there it goes. The Red Bull are going to look to overtake around the outside there. And Acti is still there. They kept it clean and Acti is uh, tucking Acti going on inside here. That's his corner. Bradley giving him just the amount of uh, uh, space to go around there without touching the wall. But Gladiators Bradley. seeming to have to think about getting the pit lane. It's a little bit of a tank oh. slap right there for Tigsy in the wall. Yeah, just caught that. Uh, Acti is even closer. Oh, sticky front wheel. Jack, nope, it's going on to the hard tyres as well. So I'll keep an eye oh. on his times and see how that pans out later on when the other Gladiators end, end up stopping. Oh, they're boxing. <laughs> Bradley's boxing. Tixie's boxing. And his teammate Carty's is going to hit him. He's hit the back of Bradley. Just like 80 kilometers now, my friend. 80 kilometers right now. Here, uh, but he has medium boots on. So that's going to be interesting if he can catch up to the pack. Uh, Persigella is still leading the pack. Oh, you can oh. see Nix has got no traction left yet. He's driving on on ice. But the problem is Bradley's got nowhere to overtake. Finally got a better exit as he got the power down because the tyres are sticky for Bradley. But it's compromised him a little bit of time here longer because Tigsy's actually putting in some flying laps. Tigsy will have the flying lap in a second. We'll be right in front of Dan, so... Yeah. Uh, the Alfa Romeo garage is quite close to the pit exit and... Uh, oh, Percy Gully. Six also for a front wing. And that's going to yeah. drop him back uh, around probably just ahead of Casper and P10. I'm um, trying to see where he is stopped on track. I'm currently on board with Nick, so we'll yeah. have to see momentarily. There oh, it is. must have oh. spun on exit. Yeah. And we're uh, like on the slap, unless they have safety car goes in, because the soft will definitely not make it to the end. We saw people already struggling six laps yeah. and the green flag condition. Nick's coming in, softs. Interesting. He saw that and uh, said, you, you know, I, will, I want a bit of that. <laughs> Yeah, as well as Casper. Ah, uh, whoa, Bradley's boxing. No that's a very late call for the Red Bull because perhaps that safety car will be in this lap. Uh, so it is boxing, Nick's boxing, Casper's boxing. From all the tires, we'll have to see. 
uh, Jacob getting a bit angry at Bradley for doing mediums for some reason, even though they're not on the same team. But here we go, Acti is going, and look at that field. They're silencing each other from what it looked like. Danza losing out places in the Mercedes. Now side by side with the Red Bull. In easy with DRS especially. DRS will be open next lap on the second DRS straight. So let's see if Acti can defend this from the charging Alfa Romeo's behind him. And also, the, so really, Bradley and EDU are the ones in uh, contention for the win. And also, Persigeli, Tixi, uh, with a three second penalty, not so much. Tixi decides to go around the outside. There, he's in the sandwich now. Elbows uh, out. We knew that was going to happen. And if it's in the front wing, oh, there's a bit of a lock up there from Tiggs. Yeah, these are eager Piga. And look at how Bradley snuck him on up on the inside there. He's a P4. You mentioned here that you did it. It's very possible that DRS, but this is three abreast into a corner. And I think Bradley was quite a clever there at the moment just to lift off to know if he's going to live to see another day. But he's not. He is lifting off a little bit here. He's going to try to send on the outside there. It's uh, smart driving here, and there's also some risk in it for the biscuit driving. Yeah, Acton not getting a good exit. Now Bradley challenging him for P3. Acton is not willing to give that up too well. Squeezes uh, the Red wing. Bull to the wall. I saw front wing flying off or something. And the uh, Acton's wing are intact, in fact. But... Percy Gilly, even a bigger gap now, 2.5 seconds, uh, leading the pack right now, and he's going to hope for more fighting in the back. It's uh, an uh, ADE Pushing down on the ERS button. Uh, Acti defending the inside and burning ERS as well. Let's see how it goes. Bradley with the more grip. Acti tried to push him wide. I am, uh, moment, I'm not quite sure if he has damage. Yeah, no. that's an end plate missing. Yeah. That's an end plate missing. The Mercedes of Danza is that he's also on two warnings. So if he gets slapped with one more corner cut, then he'll be joining that three second club with Tigsy. There we go. Acti going for the move. Looks well done and dusted. And Danza decides to go for it. And Danza is out. There's two cars Big off in the background. There. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's Tigsy and Danza. Danza trying to do, do a double overtake. Or maybe out broke himself. But particularly decides to go in for a first set of uh, soft I believe yeah so does Zacti uh, they have to come in temporary safety car and he's backing up the field he's backing up the field and there he goes and it looks like Acti didn't get a good start uh, being alongside Tixi uh, and Bradley looking uh, into the inside of the no game uh, already made up yeah, the it's a punchy, but Bradley's got to sit on the outside where you see he has so Bradley's got a no foul no game so back into it with the fresh boots on, no front wing damage. Bradley trying to, to claw his way back up. Running into lap 25 now. DRS will be enabled that lap. And DRS will be... Uh, uh, Acti will be uh, able to use the DRS. They can save anyone right now because the safety car... Uh, well, it's just too late for a safety car. A minimum of two laps. Oh, and Kassel's gone straight. Yeah, he can't turn. So let's see here. Active five times, four times. He's really burning RS now to get as close as possible uh, to the DRS straight here, uh, to the car ahead for the DRS, sorry. And uh, so up there, Bradley, just outside DRS, five hundreds of DRS from Acti. Percy Gelly getting a good exit there, but most importantly, Acti getting a better exit there. Oh, well, just about. He's getting close, but not close enough, and that's Percy Gelly P1, Acti P2, and Bradley P3. Especially as well, because they're not supposed to be here, but they they, they made it harder for uh, the pro drivers at times. And uh, Well, here we have it, the flying fin on the top step of the podium. And then we have a...